Hey, uh, so I thought you all would want to know that I previously made this video, but then thought, no, I can do a lot better, and just decided to redo the entire thing from scratch. Yeah, as reads on screen, this video is purely satirical, and most everything said here should be taken with a grain of salt because, again, it is satirical. Of all the dinosaurs that used to roam the Earth, none of them are better than the Allosaurus. This is just a general well-known fact, even video games like Jurassic World Evolution know this. In the basic game, a fully modded Allosaurus is hands down the best creature, but this isn't a video game, although it should be. This is real life, and I don't know where I'm going with this, so just pretend this was a good tradition. Allosaurus, specifically known as the Allosaurus fragilis, there were other subspecies, but Fragilis was the most well-known, was a large carnivorous theropod. Hold on, wait a moment, can we talk about how dumb-sounding that scientific name is? It sounds like fragile, like if I were to see this dinosaur and hit it with a hammer, would it shatter into a bunch of pieces which I would inevitably step on. Can we change that? Please? No? Alright. Its name, Allosaurus, also means different lizard, which is like, wow. We found a new dinosaur, it's different from all the others, because its spine is concave, at the time that was different. What should we call it? Hear me out, I got an idea. What if we call it a different lizard, but like fancy in a language that no one uses? Yep, mm -hmm, that is what we should call it. Good name, good name. Allosaurus has lived 155 to 145 million years ago during the late Jurassic Epoch, meaning that it could never be on time for school and it just continuously get yelled at by its teacher for being late. Most of this dinosaur's remains were found in the Morrison Foundation. It was also the most abundant large predator in the Foundation, and as such, it got to eat everything. But something that could make this predator possibly more dangerous is its social behavior. One gallon of milk, two eggs, bunion cream, and a bottle of- oh shoot, wrong thing. Here we are. It was theorized by some paleontologists that allosauruses were capable of hunting in pairs or small groups in order to bring down larger and more dangerous prey. The groups would most likely disband after a kill, but no one really knows for sure. The Allosaurus was an ambush predator, meaning it thought it was a bush. Evidence shows the Allosaurus would stand in the middle of a field, thinking it was a bush and getting confused when nothing walked by it. Allosauruses were also known to attack Stegosauruses, which ended well for no one. There were multiple skeletons with damage on them that seemed to be from fights. I mean, they were asking for it if they decided to hunt down a, a dinosaur with spikes the size of baseball bats. The most well-known member of this species has been named Big Al. It measured around 8 meters or 26 feet in length. Al is in an Allosaurus fragilis, it's a member of the subspecies Allosaurus gemedsini, I think. Al got its name not because of its size, but because of the completeness of its skeleton. In fact, Al was a subadult, only 87% grown at the time of its death. Its death was most likely caused by an injury. 19 of its bones were broken or showed infection. Infected bones include 5 ribs, 5 vertebrae, and 4 of the 5 feet bones. Several of the damaged bones show disease. A particular problem for Big Owl was trauma and infection in the right foot that was most likely impairing its movement, and opened up the other foot to injury due to the change in the way it walks, which is like, wow, what happened to the thing? Did it get hit by a truck or something? This is why the Allosaurus is the best dinosaur. Wait, what do you mean nothing about this was persuasive like at all? No, hush, it was persuasive and not informational. You were persuaded that the Allosaurus is the best, and you were not informed about something random. So there. Ha. 